queen lures the cc of a lava hound here comes the royal champion rocket loons coming in onto the archer towers onto the yo what he's got it welcome back to the channel clashers today we are finding out who's gonna get the number one seed here in the grand finals of the pre-qualifiers we have team elevate and darkest muzan competing if you guys enjoy these types of videos you guys know what to do make sure you guys click that like button and subscribe down below for the daily content for wars just like this hopefully you guys enjoy let's check it out they got themselves a grand finals match here the winner of this is going to get the number one seed in the qualifiers for june and here we go let me get it ready and all right pops that early warden ability right off the bat Town Hall here. It's a little off to the right side. King and Queen up top towards this air defense. Drops another Rage into the middle. e drags there. Freezes up the Town Hall. Out comes some of the Headhunters. He freezes up the Town Hall again. He has five Rocket Loons to use. Rages it up. Freezes it yet again. e drag gets spun around. Down it goes. Does have the Royal Champion, but the CC has not been lured out. Probably a Lava Hound in there. Oh, but he's going to drop the Royal Champion, which will pull the rest of that Clan Castle out. The Grand Warden trying to get a little bit more percentage, but he's got five Rocket Loons to use. Is this man not going to use his Royal Champion? Yo, wait a second. He doesn't want to use his RC yet. The Queen will pull the Clan Castle out. He's being patient. Queen lures the CC of a Lava Hound. Here comes the Royal Champion. Rocket Loon's coming in. Onto the Archer Towers. Onto the... Yo, what? He's got it. Holy jeez, the cleanup. Queen clears the Hound, and he was patient. What? Oh my god, the cleanup Rocket Loons gets it done for the three star. GG. Take it out, Eve Kali's base. All right, now Team Elevate. Good luck. As the Super Pekka Smash Earthquake takes out the Expos. Queen is down at three. Wizard as well. All right, dropping the healers onto her. Super Wall Break towards the. Scatter shot. All right, the baby dragon is down towards six o'clock. Hmm. Whoever wins this gets the number one seed. A lot of pressure. You want to win. Super wizards are down. Scatter shot hits the Pekkas. Some balloons are in. He's not gonna. Oh wait, where's your warden? Where's your warden? The super wizards are. E-Vision, you forgot your warden and you lost all your super wizards just like that to the scatter. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Drops the jump into the core. Basically swagged all his super wizards. Freezes up the air expo, or the air expo and the air defense. Got the witches down south. The king is moving it was way too left. Does another, a second jump spell. If he still guesses without these super wizards chaining into the core. Wall breaks the king in towards the multi. The Tessa does pop on the outside. Queen's ability goes off in the core. Takes out the single. The world champion is down. The Pekkas are trying to push their way to the enemy world champion in the scatter shot section. The king is taking out the multi-target Inferno. We do have a multi standing on the top side. World champ scatter ability. Healers have transferred off to the Pekkas, providing some tanking. It still has a chance after he lost to Super Wizards instantly, which didn't get any value. That Yak is tanking for the outside here. And this has potential. The Road Champion is pushing her way through with her ability. Is Vision still going to get this? Going to pop her ability here. The Warden is keeping her alive. The Grand Warden goes down. The Wizard Tower goes down. He doesn't even need his Super Wizards. And he's going to get it. It's a triple. GG. Wow. Okay. He didn't give up. It didn't bother him. Team Elevate, GG. Okay.
It is a three star for Team Elevate. And now it's all tied up. Good luck to Wei. Coming in on Eve Muda. He's got a Queen Charge Dragon Rider attack. Super Wall Break his way in towards 9 o'clock. Queen's going to be pushing her way into this air defense. King on King. Oh, King on King action here. Who's going to win? The King. What? Queen's charging. Going to have to make her way towards this air defense. King's ability goes off. He's going to push his way to the Eagle Artillery as well. Finds a Giant Bomb. Launch some Spring Traps. Out comes Archers. Eagle does go down here. He can Super Wall Break down here by the Wizard Tower. Is he going to do it? No, he's going to Log Launcher behind the Queen. And the Log Launcher launches a Headhunter there brilliantly to help keep this Queen charging through. There's a Poison Spell. And the Log Launcher is going to be skipping onto the Multi-Target Inferno. Way is looking pretty strong here. Drops the Minion to help clear these Lava Pups. He's going to open the wall behind the Town Hall here as well. And the multi goes down. It gets the log off. And that log is enough to open the wall to the Town Hall. Just enough there. Perfectly used for way. Out comes some ground skeletons. But the Queen's going to continue her charge around. What? Yo, that log launcher OP opening that wall just perfectly. Baby Dragon goes down. He didn't have any balloons inside of that log launcher, so this area could be trapped with seeking air mines. But here comes the Dragon Rider. So he's going to put all his faith on that queen to continue her charge to the town hall. Still has her ability, so that's okay. So Haven on to the Royal Champion. That multi target Inferno is standing, so he can send his Royal Champion into the multi in the core. He sends some Headhunter. He's going to pop that Warren ability. He does right now. The Headhunter needs to launch this queen. Launch the queen. He needs to kill the queen. The Ground Expo locked onto the Headhunter here, but is it going to be enough? The town hall does go down. The Royal... Oh, the head under it does take out the Queen. Freezes up the core multi. He's going to be able to drop the Royal Champion towards 3 o'clock with the Dragon Riders pushing their way through. Freezing makes her invisible. Down goes an air defense. She's going to take down the scatter shot. The Queen still got her ability, avoiding the Town Hall poison. And this is looking like a 3 star for Wei. Has her ability. Three loons left as well. Sneaky Goblins to help clean up. And the Dragon Riders pushing their way through. The Royal Champion is still alive. And it is a 3 star as well. Dropping the balloons onto the cannon. Down it goes. With the swag queen ability at that. GG. Nice hit. Wow. Perfect. Another triple coming in for Darkest Muzan. All right. Eve Kali. It is time for your hit. With the Zap Dragons, you say. Six lightning. He's got an earthquake. What's the play? Hmm. There's the lightning. Looking to take out the queen? No. Damages her quite a bit. Takes out the multi. Super wall break. Goes for the... Goes for the quarter wall right there. Okay. The king looking to push his way into the town hall here. CC's so pretty far away, so not... Gonna lure that out. Anytime soon. Queen's following behind the king. Wait, will she go in? Double giant bomb tornado chip spins the king around, frees up the town hall and the single target inferno. Loses a bunch of the barbarians, take out the enemy king. Royal champion goes down here as well. And he's got four rocket loons to use. The king does die off, but the queen's gonna help take the town down with the royal champion. Gonna have to burn her ability. Freezes up this section, but her ability does go off and it doesn't actually skip out of the town hall. Can you take out the single target Inferno? Oh, you no! Know, the single stays up. The Queen's got to burn her ability. Otherwise, the poison effect of the town hall is going to take her down. She's going to get one shot off on the single, and down goes the single. All right. So he doesn't have to worry about that. But this is only a ground expo, so he doesn't have to be too worried. Send some racket loons to help pick off that air defense on the outside. And here comes the dragons. Over by 9 o'clock to push into the scatter shot towards this eagle artillery. We got the dragon riders pushing their way through. Rage up over the scatter. He's going to pop potentially the Warden ability to protect these moons into the middle. Not yet. Yes, it is. There's the Warden ability. He can rage up over the core. Headhunters come out. He can poison. Oh, he doesn't have a poison spell. A bunch of archers. The dragons need to clear it. There's the freeze into the core. Stone Slammer's coming down south at six. Dragons are clearing this area. The queen is not getting, is not locking on anything. But remember, she is super low health here. So one hit from the dragon. She should be going down. Down she goes. 
Now he has to deal with the super minions and the, the royal champion on the backside. Oh, the dragons need to lock onto her. Do they? Yes, they do. And the royal champ's going down. The royal champ is doing work to the dragons. And no! She finally goes down. The scattershot is still standing here, though. This dragon pulls the sinking air mine. The dragon rider is pushing his way over. He's got three dragons down south, one dragon up top, but the storage is going to be doing work. This dragon rider with the grand warden buff of his HP is going to be pushing its way through, clutching up the scatter shot. These dragons are going to come over and help. The Grand Warden is still standing. Oh, the Arch Tower picked off the top side. And this Warden Tower is going to be picking off this dragon. Doesn't have too much health. This one on the bottom side does have more health, but only 23 seconds left in the raid. And these, and these buildings, these are this low health on the outside over there. Only 17 seconds. The Grand Warden and the Owl is tanking here for the one dragon. And if anything, it would be a time fail. Yeah, the Owl's trying to chain through. And it is a defense for Darkest Muzan. Eve Kale, nice try. Not going to get this one. It is a two-star 96% here. Which means Darkest Muzan has got the advantage. We have the next attack from Darkest Muzan is in. And coming in with the Queen of Charge, Dragon Rider. Sending this blimp in towards the Scattershot. Is he going to rage up to try to land on top of the Royal Champion? Yes. Going to be able to help take her down and the Scattershot. Okay, she does go down. Headhunter runs off to the Queen here. Setting up this funnel. Super minions do come out. Queen needs to lock onto the Headhunter here. Takes it out. No problem there. Queen's going to make her way to this air defense. Super minions drops that poison. Now clear him. Taking her time. He's got no jump. He's got four freezes. Two. Oh, he's got a single target in front of up top. He's trying to set up funnel with these sneaky goblins. To potentially push the queen closer to this town hall. He's got a giant. Hmm. Super wall breaker coming in to open the archer tower. Will that make a huge difference here? The balloon pushing its way through. She steps up right into that wall compartment area. Now sends the Royal Champion from the top side towards the single target Inferno. Does have one invisibility spell that potentially... Oh! Balloon pulls the sinking air mine. Will the Queen step her, her way into the multi now? Yes, she does. She's going straight to the core. Pops the RC ability. Skips across. Multi goes down. Makes the Royal Champion invisible to help take down this single. But he makes the single invisible too! So she dodges it. So that single is going to be standing now. And what is the plan? How much health does it have? It's got almost full health there. Freezes up the enemy queen in the core. But that accidental misplaced invisibility spell drops the rage on the queen. She's going to get spun around. There's more seeking air mines through the section. A secondary seeking air mine into the town hall compartment. Loses a healer. And the town hall spun some of these healers around. Which means that they're getting damaged and going down pretty fast here. And here comes the king and dragon riders from the bottom side. The town hall has been cleared. The queen's going to help take down the single target in front of her. Neither drops some minions up top at 12 to help potentially with time. Only got a few dragon riders. Pulls the sticking air mine. The queen's inside the poison spell of the town hall. The king's trying to set as much of a funnel as possible. Taking out these defenses. The queen does go down. Healers don't pull any traps in the core. Only has three dragon riders pushing their way through. Oh, he doesn't pop the warden ability, so the Dragon Rider that was going over to the Builder Huts is not going to be protected here. It is going to be going down. He can pop this warden ability here to protect, and he finally does. He's not going to drop a giant or wizard to go for this air defense on the outside. There's the Dragon Rider to help pick off the Builder Hut. Now it's moving its way into the air defense. He's got that giant. He can use the tank something. He's got a minion over around in the back, but it is a Builder Hut, which will hit him. Drops the Giant pretty early there. 12 seconds. It's probably just going to be a time fail. A time fail. Nice try. Four, three, two, one, and it is a time fail with a few Dragon Riders left. Nice try. Just giving Team Elevate a chance. Here we go. Eve Mark going in. With a Queen Charge Lalo. Finding a Tesla Farm up top. Drops the Queen now. Sends a Rocket Loon in. Is he going to try to Rocket Loon the Air Defense? Yes, he does. Two more Rocket Loons. Finds a Seeking Air Mine. The Air Defense does go down. It's going to get pushed back for the Blimp. Going to try to fight the Sweeper. Going to get pushed back one more time. It's going to get spun around here. 
The headhunter goes off for the queen, freezes up the town hall and the headhunter, takes it down. Does he have stinky goblins in here? Poisons up the super minion. They step into the town hall. Down goes sneaky goblins. Queen's clearing the super minions here. Is she going to step her way into the multi-target inferno? It looks like she's doing... Oh, yes, yeah, she does. Steps her way in to get this valley here. Balloon comes as well. This test for sinking air mines. King's moving his way toward this bomb tower. And he's going to make his way to the enemy royal champion. He's got his royal champion to use. Looking pretty solid so far. He's going to clear her. He can jump the queen into the gorg into the core and get a ton of value. Rages that queen with the unicorn. There's the jump. Drops the balloon for the Grand Warden, but the queen's going to have to clear it. Where's she going to go next? She steps in. Now she's going to step in for the multi. Staying alive, getting tons of value. Royal Champion ability goes off. This Grand Warden or this Wizard Tower is going to be a little annoying here for pathing-wise, but here comes the Lalo. The Air Expo is standing there as well. The Queen's pushing her way through, drops another Rage, and makes her invisible. She's going to take the jump, take out the enemy Queen. Can't reach that single target Inferno, though. So we're going to have to force her ability. Does end up freezing up the Scattershot and Wizard Tower. Her ability's going to be forced right about now. There it is, trying to stay alive. The Scattershot freezes it up and does not get a shot off. The Queen's going to make her way over to the Air Expo. She locks onto the Air Expo next. There is the Haste Spell. Takes out the Scatter, takes out the Wizard. He's got balloons on the back end to help push his way around. He's got tons of them with a Wizard Tower single target in front of with a minute left. He could drop a Headhunter across here to go for the King to try to distract that Wizard Tower to help protect it. He doesn't do that. He sends the Headhunter straight into the King. There it is. The balloon's coming around. Air Skellies, the Queen locks onto him. Oh, the, the Owl pulls a Sticky Gear Mine, but does not go down. Plenty of minions and balloons left with 40 seconds on the clock. And Eve Mark for Team Elevate are not only going to get the three star, but also going to have the advantage going in at this point. Eight to eight now. GG to Team Elevate. Eve Mark coming away with the three star, putting them right there at 98.7 to a 98.0 average destruction so far. Now we have GUI coming in on Eve Vision. With the seven sneakies. Is this what I think it is? Yetis and bowlers? I thought bowlers went extinct. What is this? I didn't know they were even around. What? I thought they went extinct. Like, who? What? Started with a warden walk down here. I think GUI forgot that there was an update. Oh, it loses the owl. Rages up this warden now. Well, let's see if this is the play. Stepping in, take out the archer tower, takes out this storage. Warden's going for the scatter next. Yes, goes straight for the scatter shot. Down goes the multi mortar. Sets up a bit of a funnel. Oh, my iPad is saying no. Carbon, you, your 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 screen's gonna crash. Uh oh. Here comes the queen and a yeti. Got an ice golem. Six bowlers. Bowlers, 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 huh? Drops a balloon. There's a jump spell over the world champion platform. Ice golem's coming down. Yetis are down. King's over on the right side towards 3 o'clock. The queen locks onto the world champion. Healers need a transfer. The ice golem freezes this whole area. Eagle's all the way on the far side of the base. Still has the world champion deploy. Here comes the blimp. Drops the rage for these yetis to push their way into the core. There they go. Pushing their way straight through this past this Lava Hound. There's the Rage over the Town Hall for the Blimp to help try to take it down. The Yetis take down the Town Hall, freezes the back end. Expos here, poisons the Lava Pups. Jumps towards the back end scatter. He can drop the Royal Champion towards the Eagle Artillery. And he sends the Giant and the Royal Champion now going in. Trying to clear this core. These Bowlers trying to get their skip value. The Queen, the Healers did transfer off. But the Yetis have all died off. Where's this? Where's everything? Everything's just gone. They're just disappeared. Pops that king ability. Queen's ability goes off in the core. The enemy queen just needs to tap her and she will die. Down she goes. The end his queen just died and nothing left. Wow. Those boulders and yetis absolutely disintegrated. And they were gone before we even realized drops of freeze, but it's not going to matter. It's going to be a lower percent two-star for GUI of Darkest Muzan. We've got Eve Muda going in with the dragons. Zamp dragons is the play. Drops the lightning over 
towards the Eagle Artillery. No. He dropped the Earthquakes. Takes out the Eagle. Okay. Okay. Eagle's gone. Builders were not repairing it. They were repairing the Grand Warden statue. Here comes the King and Queen towards the enemy Queen. Does have one and Viz left. The Poison. He's not pulling out the CC just yet. The King will probably pull out the CC here as he runs in and around this multi. King's ability goes up. Out comes Archers and more Archers. Drops the Poison spell for him. And Headhunters. Is he going to drop a Freeze? No, he's not. The Headhunters die off. No, no, the Archers die off, but the Headhunters do not. And these Headhunters are going to absolutely shred the Royal Champion. She won't even get her ability off. Nope. Oh, he had to use the invisibility to get her ability off. He did not want to do that. Takes out the headhunter now. Oh, man. He's got the blimp still to use. Dragons are coming... Coming from the opposite side of this base, of the town hall here. Queen goes down. The unicorn is trying to make its way... Oh, unicorn, go! Get away from the ground expo! Go heal up these dragons! No, king, don't kill the unicorn! Don't do it! Ow! Oh, bye-bye, Unicorn. How sad. The Ground Expo took it out. Rip. Pulling double Seeking Air Mines here and Air Skellies and Red Air Bombs and more Seeking Air Mines. Ooh. We got Teslas over here behind the Town Hall. Drops a Balloon. A Blimp and all the way across. Okay, here we go. Warden is going away from this Blimp. He's got to pop the Warden Belly at the last second. He does! Oh, there's the tornado trap, so the blimp is going to be free and clear to push its way towards the town hall. Pulls a sinking air mine. He's got a rage for the town hall. It gets pushed across. Oh. Are the sneaky gobs going to come out and take the town hall down? Yes, the town hall's going down. Oh, this is looking like a defense here against Way's base. Drops the rage up top over the air defense. Freezes up the scatter and the AD there. They take it down. Scattershot is a big threat remaining. We got some two tests. only 28 seconds left. He's got a handful of dragons. The Grand Warden's helping in that rage spell, which is doing a lot of work. He's got one Archer Tower, two Tesla's for point defense, the, the Builder Hut. But time is now the issue. The dragons were pushing their way through. The Sweeper's going to push them back. It's going to be a time fail. These dragons up here have a little bit of health. Not full health there. The Grand Warden's... Pretty decent. The, the owl is half health, but it is gonna fall short on time. Only a 92% right there for Team Elevate. Eve Muda, nice try. And now it's 10 to 10. 97 to Team Elevate and 94.8 for Darkest Muzan. Manta is in for Darkest Muzan. Trying to take down Eve Carlito. He's got six dragons. Got one bat spell, potentially for an E dragon on the outside of a bit. Yes, there it is. Bat is for that E dragon to push its way in. Takes out that air defense with that chain of the E dragon. Down it goes. Super wall breaker towards this king and scatter shot. Queen's gonna upset the funnel, gonna force the king to go into here. Up, set up a funnel. There's the balloons. The dragons are down. He's not waiting. Drops a skeleton spell early. Distract the scatter. And the Royal Champion. Raising up. That's multi-target and sweeper. Sends the blimp in. Takes out the headhunter with the dragons. Tra freezes up that sweeper and multi yet again. Has a warden ability still to use. Waiting to deploy his king. Pops that warden now. Blimp's pushing across through the town hall. There's the tornado trap. Spinning the blimp around. But that warden ability is keeping everything protected. It's going to land and it's going to take out the town hall here. Does have the King and Royal Champion still to use. Tesla Farm pops by that multi target Inferno. Dragon's trying to take out the Queen, but not going to be able to do it. That Queen is going to be huge in the core of this base. Sends the minions up top. This King avoided the scatter shot. Where's the Royal Champion going to be deployed? Down south by the air defense? Yes. To keep these dragons alive. The Giant goes into the Mortar. The King's got his ability, so he can help clear that. Freezes up the Queen. This is not looking too bad here. It's actually looking pretty solid, since he still has both of his hero abilities here. And he's going to pop the ability, take that down, and it's going to be a triple. And Monta, four targets, but that are going to three-star, which is going to force 
team elevate to half to triple to win this war gg to Monta. nice job finishes it off with over a minute left in the raid wow absolutely beautiful attack here with another three star for them gg team elevate it comes down to this final attack if you triple you win because you will have 97.6 average destruction over the over their 95.8 good luck to eve carlito he must three star to win this war right here for team elevate against darkest muzan to get the number one seed in the june qualifiers both these teams automatically received a buy because they made it to this round but they're going for that number one seed that stone slammer pushed its way in taking out the cannon it will pop and he's got yetis that do come out they move their way over to the royal champion raises it up will the yeti yes takes out the royal champion and the scatter shot here nice job pulls out the headhunters for the queen the air defense goes down so he can drop the healers now not get targeted perfectly used there stone slammer instead of the blimp nice job poisons down for these headhunters archers do come around does not have to use a rage or anything tell claire the headhunters is he gonna have to for use like a wizard or he doesn't have a wizard will the queen go in towards this town hall here is the question will she walk around i don't know she looks to be safe here to go for the town hall drops that minion and the queen does step in for the town hall at this point he's got five dragon riders to use as well the king on the outside to help potentially keep this queen a little bit more narrow towards the core of the base town hall does explode the poison spell is going to affect the queen with a giant bomb there gonna have to rage up the queen again to keep her going especially through this grand warden tower here rages her up king gets locked on by the eagle artillery does have one more super wall breaker breaks in towards the tesla farm here the queen can actually walk her way right around towards that multi over there help clear that they can drop the dragon riders from the bottom side if he so choose if he chooses to do that because then they can make their way to the eagle artillery quicker rages the queen up and here we go the dragon riders are down the grand warden as well sends in the royal champion get ready for the minions he needs them to be down to help with cleanup the queen dodges the bomb tower she should be turning back for her. she does now Dragon Rider's in the core. The Grand Warden's trying to help. Makes the healers invisible with the Queen. She's getting spun around by the Tornado Trap. But takes down that multi now. Warden ability goes off. The Royal Champion's pushing her way through. Gonna be locked down by the enemy Queen here. We have to get her ability off. The Dragon Rider pulls double seeking air mines in the core. Look at it. No! Does not take out the single. But he does freeze it up. The second Dragon Rider that is there is looking to help clear it. But the Royal Champion clears the Queen. Then he perfectly dropped the head on her to take her down. The Queen ability still attacks. He's got a free spell. The Dragon Riders are pushing their way through with 40 seconds left head on a cleanup and team elevate with 39 seconds left the royal champion is still alive with the dragon riders only the archer tower left standing and team elevate is going to be victorious unless he's got time no they dodge these buildings here wait till they go back 20 seconds the queen's cleaning up the storage is left the queen can reach it the headhunters clutch in that storage the minions onto the clan castle. 12 seconds. 11. 10. And he's going to get the three. It is not going to be a time fail. GG to Team Elevate. They are going to be walking away victorious. 13 to 13. 97.6 to a 95.8. GG. They are going to be the number one seed here in the qualifiers. What a way to do it. Team Elevate. What a performance. Let's take a look at their war log. Overall, six hours ago, they defeated three pumps. They defeated Underworld X. They defeated GH Rest, Gangsta Academy, Top and I Empire, who is going to be in the qualifiers. And then the latest one, Darkest Muzan. GG to Team Elevate here, winning 13 to 13.